Hey guys, back with another video. Sorry it's been so long. Um, just a lot of things been going on in my life at the moment, so I thought I'd just get around to doing this video for you. This is a little bit different for me. This is um, a uh, a PC that I picked up just earlier. I picked this up for 80 bucks. Uh, so I picked this up, everything that you see on the table. Um, the guy just said that the computer itself was just freezing roughly after about 30 minutes. I had a look at, quick look at some of the specs, but he really doesn't know. So I think that he said that it had an FX uh, 63 or 6400 and some other bits and pieces. So I'm not really too sure what I've actually got. I could have bought an absolute bit of rubbish here at the moment, but really I needed a monitor. Uh, I, just, I, I built it really very, very quickly. I built a computer within 24 hours and... Uh, sold it so I didn't even get to even do a video about it but anyway so I sold the monitor to go with it and really really needed one to do some um, test benching uh, or bench testing sorry and um, yeah this is perfect so this is but this is you know I've already cleaned all this up um, because it needed to come inside and I didn't want to bring anything yuck inside anyway so so these are all the cables just a bunch of power cables HDMI um, this is what else what else did we get with this so this is yeah so there you go G402 um, what's this? Um, oh yeah. The thing is, when I got into the house, there was a few dogs, so everything was a bit smelly. Um, this is a, I don't think, it's not mechanical or anything, but there you go. Um, yeah, that's not too bad. But the bonus was the was the monitor, as you can see there. That's the part number for it. Google if you need to, but. 21 inch and it's got like um, DVI, VGA and HDMI which is perfect for me. Anyway, so this is where we're at. So this is the this is the computer. I mean, the, the picture on online wasn't wasn't all that great, but you know, I mean it's already got USB 3 uh, 2.0, 3.0 and 2.0 is loads of them actually. Jesus. It's loads. But anyway, let's check this out. See what we've actually got, see what we're dealing with. I mean, the case itself is yeah, it's a bit of a dinosaur, but uh, I don't. I won't use it. I won't use this. I'll just grab a new, new thing. But anyway, anyway, let's get into it. So he did say that um, he thought that was you know overheating, so he bought another fan. And I've just noticed that this is a Nocturna, so quite quite expensive. And the other thing I did notice is that these are just sort of like just sitting in there. Look at this thing just hanging around so I'll pull it back up so we can have a better look at it and um, yeah so we've got a one terabyte in there uh, not too sure the only thing that shouldn't be like that should it but it's an 80 plus hopefully that's all right I've got Wi-Fi so we've got a 970 Pro I don't know about the graphics card at the moment but from looking at it Fingers crossed, it could have an R9 there, but don't know. Anyway, so that's where we're at. So, um, we quickly take out take out this RAM. We'll have a look at this. So, what have we got here? And we have got it's not four four gig there. Yeah, we've got an eight gig RAM, but that's. Yeah, anyway, so that's what we're up to. I hopefully I haven't just thrown away my money, but we'll see where we're at. I'll pull it all apart, put all the parts down and stuff like that, and see if, if this is any good. I mean, obviously I've got my monitor back, so that was the main thing. Uh, it's not really eighty dollars worth, but anyway, I'm sure that I can do something with this. I'm usually an Intel person, but AMD is another challenge but we'll we'll see how we go all right thanks. okay guys here i am i'm back now this has been a while it's been a few hours but i've finally taken it all apart i've completely cleaned everything i'll just quickly show you so as you can see vacuum cleaners out blah blah yeah that's the water well i, I haven't actually put the water on the stuff but you know I've, I've cleaned it all up and wiped it all down and, and properly done it so 
Um, yeah, my other my rag that I had is completely filthy anyway. But anyway, so this is what we're left with. These are these are all the parts, and so this is eighty bucks worth. Uh, I'm not gonna. You can probably see the case is still out there. I'm I'm not even gonna touch it. Bugger it. No, I'm just gonna put all this in a brand new case. So that's what we're gonna do. But ended up. Um, so I've taken this apart, and I've as you can see, it, it was completely filthy, but. I've put it back together with new thermal paste. So this actually is an R7370 um, two gigabyte. I've checked it out. Um, the This is eight gig of RAM, but I haven't actually done know what speed or anything it is at the moment, but everything else has all come up, you know, really well. Um, the keyboard, this was a little bit, I don't know if you remember from when we first sort of seen it, sort of seemed like it was a part. I'm not too sure what happened there. But I've put it all back together. I've, I've wiped all of the cables all down. Um, you know, the, even the hard drive was completely filthy. But so I've ended up with, as you can see, um, I've got a Nocturna 120. Um, I've got these. Look like this was actually the brand of the case. So these came with the case. And from looking at it, they've got LEDs as well. So I've got a 140 or 120. And I'm not too sure what's going on there. It's a little bit different in color. But anyway. Um, so I've cleaned this as well. This was actually, you know, you've got to be careful when you get um, secondhand headsets. You just don't know people with colds or whatever. So this has all been detailed down. And I mean, you know, I've cleaned all that really, really properly and hygienically as well. So um, we come to the motherboard and the CPU. So this is what we're dealing with. It ended up being an FX 6300 Black Edition. So I think that's six core, six threads. I think it's about 3.5 gigahertz. Um, and the motherboard is good. It's um, it's actually a really good motherboard and Yeah, I mean it's got loads and loads of features and you can SLI and whatnot else or Crossfire AMD But yeah, it's um, it's pretty good. Uh, I mean, I think the reason the reason personally, I think the what why this was just turning off um, and why the the computer shop didn't say anything to him or whatever but when I tried to get this off um, I'll just show you that over here oh, I've actually cleaned it bugger it but this here was oh well I've sort of tried to clean it but the actual CPU came off when I pulled this off crazy it was and then I I had to get like a knife and then like put it underneath and sort of slowly try and prise it off it was dead set stuck on there but the reason why it was stuck on there well I'm guessing but it was just dry which sounds weird because you'd think if it was dry it would just come off but it there was nothing to it. it there was no there was nothing to it so I think that's the reason I think the thermal paste was just shot it was just crap and yeah so that's all completely cleaned up I did find that this was a lot of dust. There was so many dust bunnies in here. There was a whole bloody, you know, community of dust bunnies in here. So I think that that could have had a problem because this was completely chockers of dust. So that could have something to do with it. But apart from that, I don't know. As you can see, I've ended up with a fair bit of stuff for 80 bucks, uh, including, you know, obviously all of this, the peripherals and the monitor as well. So... It's not bad. It's not bad at all. And what we will do, what I will do, is that I think I will keep this. I think. I'm not too sure, but I've got some other RAM in there. I can possibly go for, if that's 8, I can possibly go for around about 12 gig of RAM. I could turn this into pretty good little, pretty good little PC, I guess. It's, you know, it's got everything I could possibly need to resell it off. And um, make some coin out of it, really. Um, you know, it's got some some potential. I've obviously, got I'm going to get a new case so it looks all you know all good and everything. So, anyway, that'll be my next video. So when we when we come back, um, I'll have the new case and we'll start putting it together. Okay, guys, I'm back now. This is the the case that I'm going for for this computer. And as you can see here, this is called the D Shield V2 Deep Cool. Anyway, so I haven't even opened it yet, so I've still got the sticky tape and everything on top, but yeah, this is what I'm going for. I didn't need anything, you know, 
too expensive or whatever. I think this was like 54 bucks or something. Just got it from PLA, but yeah, I mean, you know, it's it's everything that, you know, because I've already got the CD drive and, you know, I've already got, uh, off eBay, I got an, an SSD for like 30 bucks. So anyway, so it suits me. And um, I don't know what kind of, I don't think it even has any fan. Oh yeah, it's showing one fan on there. Don't know if it's even got a, you know, coloured or anything, but it doesn't really matter. But anyway, so there you go. I'll pull it out and you can have a look at it. Okay, there we are, out of the box. In all its glory. It's quite a large case, isn't it, really? Um, yeah, so that's where the CD go on there. These are all the little grills, so that's where the air will go through. Um, didn't really say much on the box, whether that's enough room for two 140s. Oh, yeah, it's the normal 120 on the back. And I've taken, already taken the screws off, but take this off. Give them the light a little bit. So there you go. Nothing too special, but it'll look pretty cool once I'm done. But yeah, I've only got two. I'm only gonna be using two hard drives and SSD, and then obviously another one for storage and installs or whatever. Maybe the bag of bits and pieces. Yeah, that's all right. Two USB twos, one USB three. Really straightforward. Let's have a look at this. Oh yeah, enough room for two 140s if I want to. Don't think I will, but anyway, so there you go. Cool, start putting it together. Okay, this is the first time turning on my $80 computer. <laughs> so I've done a few extra little things. I've put another um, CPU cooler on there and I've put the extra RAM that I actually had. Um, but apart from that, everything else is the same. I've reused the fans, so they weren't, this one here had the white fins or clear fins, this one had the blue fins, but they're both blue as you can see, and then I've just got another white one there, um, just to obviously accentuate it, but when I get the SSD, I'll put that there, and then I'm looking at getting a different um, graphics card. But apart from that, so this is what I'm dealing with with the specs, as you can see here, um, 970 Pro, that's revision two, um, we've got the FX uh, 6300, six core, 3.5 gigahertz, um, what else we got here? So yeah, so now we've got the RAM going, and as you can see there, the RAM that I had, the ballistic tracers, the ones with the actual um, the LEDs in them, they um, they're only two gig each. But as you can see, they're not extremely fast or anything. But um, yeah, we're going okay. So we've got 12 gig of RAM, and I looked at everything else, and we're pretty good. So I'll start putting the rest of it together, and I'll get back to you. Okay, we're back. It's complete, it's all together, everything's come from eBay, um, everything that I've bought has all, all arrived and I've put it all together. Um, so as you can see there's that SSD I was telling you about that I got off eBay, got this guy here as well which is a GTX 774 gigabyte, and yeah, a couple other bits and pieces that I got from PLE which was this over here, it's just the low profile cooler, and yeah, apart from that it's um, it actually looks really cool. It looks really, really cool. It's, you know, there's so much room. I'm, so, I'm actually quite impressed with this case. And uh, for the price of what it actually is, uh, everything can fit behind in this cavity. I mean, that's <laughs> that's a lot of room behind there. So not a bad um, case for the price. Uh, you know, 54 bucks, you can't really go wrong. And there's loads of room. You could um, cross fire in this or SLI in this, no problem. And now you've still got more room for another SSD or another uh, two and a half inch drive or whatever and then another one down here so you know you've got enough room there for four hard drives if you wanted to easily and um, yeah okay so I'll power it up and I'll show you how it goes. Okay we're all back together the OS has been fully installed takes hours uh, with all the different updates I think three major updates on this but anyway so we're all done we'll, um, Turn her on. As you can see, there's the ballistics traces just here. These are the LEDs that go up and down the spine of the, of the RAM. Yeah, so it's been a, this is my $80, $80 computer. Obviously I bought a couple of bits and pieces as you already know, but um, yeah, there you go. It's um, obviously it's got the SSD, so it's 
it's got it's quite quick but um, yeah just just running Windows 10 home and it's yeah all good and I have got Assassin's Creed Origins, Far Cry 5 and two other games it's a crisis but uh, Far Cry 5 runs no problem uh, I didn't think it would but it does and Assassin's Creed is fine as well so we I know this it doesn't really give it much justice in here but I've ended up um, swapping this one here was at the top and I had the original one that came with this one which was a bigger brother to this one this one's a 120 there was a 140 of that one but the airflow on it was crap so I needed a, a bit of airflow to go across across the graphics card as such so I just swapped it this one was um, a high flow uh, Corsair I think it is so I just wanted to throw that across there and there's just a 120 another high flow that I had spare there anyway so um, yeah all looks really good the SSD as you can see there there is an LED strip that's here that just throws it across there it's just something spare that I had um, yeah so it looks pretty good for a $54 case and I'm still as I said, I'm still very happy with the amount of um, room that I had at the back, the cavity that I had. And, um, yeah. There you go. Alright, well, thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate your um, your time and, and whatnot else and your support on this. So, um, yeah. Uh, lest we forget, it's Anzac Day today. That's the reason why I'm up uh, so early. And I have tickets as well for Infinity War, so... I'm going to see that first session this morning, 9.45. Alright, I'm out. Peace, guys. So I just wanted to throw this in really, really quickly because I've had other comments before where I've said, you know, the computer can run something. So this is Far Cry 5. Hopefully this is only takes um, a few seconds to come up. I did the bench testing on it and it wasn't fantastic. I think I was getting something like about maybe 50 frames or something like that. It wasn't wasn't totally awesome, but then again, I mean, it is an is an older um, platform, so <clears throat> I don't know if we can actually skip past this. Give us a tiny bit of sound. Go to my little R2D2 little speaker thing. It's actually really cool. Hmm. Yeah. No, you can hardly hear it anyway. <laughs> it is going. Yeah. There we are. Um go down to options and we go down to video so you can see down here 2.6 of 4 and I think if I go across I just got it running on normal uh, I did have it going on high but it was um, it struggled a little bit. I think the frames were coming down to around about 32, 30 frames or something like that. But on normal, I get nearly 50, so I'm pretty happy with that. Anyway, thought I'd throw that in really quickly, and so there you go. Thanks, guys.